Guys, it happened again. It ha yeah, you saw the title. It happened again. I went back to tact <laughs> Tactical Warehouse. Tactical Warehouse. We call Tactical Bass and Tactical Warehouse. I blame John for this one. I blame John. I blame Oki Outdoor Adventures because I told him, I said, Dude, I got a problem. If you see me on Tackle Warehouse, stop me. Tell me to get off of it. Tell me not to look anymore. Stop me. He failed. He did not stop me. I think he encouraged me. He might as well have. He was like, go for it. Do it. Yeah, you need all that. No, he didn't say that, but he definitely did not stop me. So here I am doing yet another unboxing video. This is the last one for a while. Last one for a while from Tackle Warehouse. I promise. I promise. For at least January. Last time I'm doing it in January. That's it. This is it. I'm done. Okay, good. Oh. Oh my gosh! It's a whale! Oh yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a so you guys saw that, you know, I had some pretty moderate success. <laughs> I caught five five-pounders in a day on the A-Rig. So I, of course, had to get an A-Rig. So I ordered a Flash Mob Jr. And it's already rigged up because I've been fishing since I got all this stuff. So that means I got more fishing videos coming out. And I'm, I'm way behind. I've got like two or three fishing videos to put together. But ordered a Flash Mob Jr., um, my buddy Chris, he actually handed me, he gave me another one. I think it's in my car right now, but I think it's another uh, flash mob, but a double blade flash mob, which I'm pretty excited to use. But what I got on here, I threw a couple of Strike King hooks. I got a 1 8 ounce on there. I had a 1 8 ounce on here too, but I had to take it off and I put a quarter ounce on there. Got another 1 8 ounce. Then I put the Dobbins on there. Now for the trailers, I got these from Tackle Warehouse as well. I got the Spark Shad, and I wanted to keep all white Spark Shads on the outside and the X-Zone Swammer, the five and a half inch Swammer in the center. And I don't, I think because I lost the hook to this one, I don't know what happened to it. It may have been on, it may have been on the umbrella rig at first, but I threw another Spark Shad. Four inch Spark Shads, five and a half inch Swammer as the center trailer. And that's the one that they've been going after. And I kind of copied Chris's uh, setup on his on his harvester rig. He had all white on the outside, and then he had three shad in the middle. So I wanted to imitate that, and uh, because of the success that he had with that, that's what I wanted to do. So let's get on with it. Another pack of the four-inch spark shads. I got some five inch ones right here. I got the five inch ones as backup. Backup for later down the road. Throw on a chatter bait. Throw on as just a regular swim bait on a jig head. Um, really liking how the X Zone five and a half inch swammers. You guys saw me unbox these earlier in the year. These guys have got crazy good action, even in the cold water. That tail kicks really well. Very happy with these guys. So I'm sticking with those. Now, Let's get on with this. Let's get kind of through the boring stuff and into the fun stuff. All right? Stand by. All right, I'm back. So, going back to the whole umbrella rig, A-rig, whatever you want to call it. Going back to the A-rig. So, I got one for myself, but I did not have the proper equipment in my mind to throw an A-rig, let alone big swim baits. And that's what I'm trying to get into this year. So, Chris himself, he had a, uh, on his rod, he had the Tranks 300 and P-Line CXX 25 pound. So, I got a spool of P-Line CXX Moss Green 25 pound copolymer. I got a full spool of that. I also got a little backup starter rig kit. You know, backups, like I said, for the A-Rig, but I'm going to be throwing the Spark Shads mainly. But I did get this for backups. So we got those as well. One eighth ounce jig heads, a little bit of swim baits in there. So it's called the Squadron Umbrella Rig Accessory Kit from Strike King, in case you're wondering what it is. So I got that line, but I didn't have a reel. So what did I do? 
I did not buy Tranks. I didn't. It wasn't in my budget. What I got was the Komodo SS364. Now this reel right here, I freaking love it. I think it is a freaking tank. Oh, to John, the box is empty <laughs> because it is on my rod right now. And the rod that I have, and I've had this rod for a while, is actually a Cast King Mega Mega what? Mag? Mag swim bait rod? It's eight foot. I gotta move it past everything and not hit anything because it's so gosh dang big. Oh, on my Lanta. Alright. The Akuma Komodo SS364. Very low profile for being such a big reel. Very low profile. Fits in the palm really nicely. Big handles on that. Tons of cranking power. Tons of drag power. Wait until you see... I think I, I think I put it on video. The log that I pulled up. I put it on Instagram. The log that I pulled up was on this setup right here. Now, the rod itself, Speed Demon 8 foot, extra heavy, moderate fast action. Moderate fast. The load on this thing is incredible. Absolutely love it. I've got one of the 316 swim baits, the Rising Sun on there right now with that 10 knot owner beast hook from the other unboxing. This actually caught some fish. So, video coming up of this catching some fish. But the Okuma 364, excellent, excellent swim bait reel. If you guys are looking for one, you don't have the 300 bucks to spend on a Tranks. These are about 200 bucks, and I'm extremely happy with this. Very smooth, cast far. It does have a clicker on there as well, if you're into that. I don't, I'm not into that, but. One thing that's crazy about this that I'm not used to, the level wind, the worm gear, moves as you cast. So what's really nice about that, keeps that spool even every time. But. The Okuma Komodo SS364. That's what it is right there. Now I've put that reel through its paces so far, I feel like. I mean, I've taken it out a few times and have really, you know, cranked on it, thrown it. It's been great. I 100% recommend it. I think it's phenomenal. So, we got past the reel. Back to the boring stuff. I picked up some more tungsten weights. These are just on sale. A Swagger Tungsten, 1 8 ounce. Got a couple packs of them. I just, I'm getting low on 1 8 ounce, and I really like the 1 8 ounce, especially with springtime coming up and how I'm going to be fishing. For springtime, besides the big swim baits, I needed some more of those. So, terminal tackle, got line, got some weights, got the accessory, you know, kit for the A rig. Now, plastics. I picked up some more 4.5 inch Magnum Rage Bugs. I got the black neon. I don't know if you guys have seen this. Black Neon is black with red flake in it. Come on, man. It's a neighborhood. There are kids out here. Not right now. I mean, it's like freaking 30 degrees and raining. It's crappy weather. So, black neon. Black red flake in there. Hope you guys can see that. Wanted to try some black baits. Some black plastics. So, got those guys. The next color that I got, I think, is the uh, Craw Daddy. Craw Daddy. And the four and a half inch Magnum Rage Bug. I'm going to have to pull this one up close to the camera because I want you guys to see the colors on this thing. And I'm pretty freaking jacked about this color right here. I know there are some other ones I got in there, but I think it was just kind of a restock. I got the Chameleon. I showed it in the live stream. But the Crawdaddy, this one right here, oh, these plastic clamshells. Look at this. Look at that brown swirl in there. Ooh. Ooh. I like that. And there are some chatterbaits out that that will pair up with extremely well. I think that new color in the Thunder Cricket, the Fire Craw, I think it's called. That would go awesome with that one. So, some more four and a half inch Magnum Rage Bugs. I feel like I'm getting pretty stocked up now. Another plastic. Oh, look at that. Yeah, the Chameleon right there. I'm gonna pull the Chameleon out, just in case anybody that wasn't on the live stream didn't see it. The Chameleon is kind of my go-to. They only make it in the 4-inch size, but it's kind of my go-to for ponds. 
because I think that the bluegill imitation color on this is just awesome. So this is the chameleon. I don't know if the color's picking that up or not. But the chameleon's got some green pumpkin, some brown, some blue, some iridescent, some red fleck in there. I love it. I think the chameleon is an absolute pond killer, pond crusher. That's the one to go with if you're looking for a good pond bait, good pond, pond plastic bait. Flip that on some beds during the spawn. I think that will get eight. Eight up. Where does that one go? Right there. Now, another Rage bait that I have not tried out before. This is actually the Rage Hog. Now, the Rage Hog, I had some success last year with the Trench Hog from Guggen Baits, but because I'm such a freaking fanboy of Strike King and Rage Tails, I had to get a different, a different kind. I needed the Creature Bait. So, in this one, I got June Bug. Now, I feel like June Bug and Black and Blue are just big bass killers. But that is the Rage Bug right there. Is it the... No, that's not the Rage Bug. That's the Rage Hog. That's stupid. Rage Hog. June Bug. Six inch bait. Pull those apart there. Pull that apart there. Pull that apart there. So you got Rage Kickers up here on the arms. And you got Rage Kickers on the tail right there. This bait... Tons of action on this guy right here. I'm very excited to be throwing this because there's one lake in particular where, like I said, the trench hog excelled. And this, being a little thicker body, a little more durable in my opinion, and more action, I think that is going to kill it. Crush it. There I go repeating myself again. You know how hard it is to get these back into the clamshells after you pull them apart? God, things I do for you guys. And my OCD. I can't. I can't do it right now. We'll come back to it. Rage Anacondas. You guys saw first bass of the year. I picked up another pack of the Falcon Light Craw and the Rage Anaconda. And I picked up, what is this one called? Blue Fleck. The Blue Fleck is sexy looking. I mean, this stuff, this one just looks awesome. Look at that. It's like red, almost plum, with Blue Fleck in there. That big old 10 inch worm. That's gonna be good, especially come summertime. I'm trying to gear up for the year while I can right now. But like I said, this is the last order for January that I'm doing. This is it. No more after January. Or for January. No more for January. Alright, those guys up there. Now, let's get into something that I've never seen before. They were on sale. I don't know if you guys know this, but Tackle Warehouse has a clearance section on their website. And I picked these up. These were three bucks. These are the BD Shad, or BD Series, BD Shad. I've got some BD Shad, and I'm going to come back to that, because like I said in the title, I'm doing a giveaway. So, BD Shad, this is the Soft Popper. I love poppers. Freaking love poppers. They might be one of my absolute favorite topwater baits, but it's a soft body popper. Got a weight on the front there, but the body, it's soft. I'm, I'm curious to see if this has the correct action or not of a popper with being a soft body. So we're going to put it through its paces. But that's what I got right there. I got the shad color in that. I picked up three of these actually. I got a bone color. Wait, no, that's not bone. Which one is this? No, pearl IU. Let's pull that out really quick. There's the bone. Bone color right there. But the pearl IU... A-Y-U, I-U, whatever you want to call it. Where's that hook at? Okay. Pearl I-U. Green and yellow. Green and some yellow. That's it right there. So, I'm very excited about these. And like I said, they were three bucks. There might be more on there still. They make two different sizes. They got a 70 millimeter and a 60 millimeter. I got the 70. It's a half ounce. So... Got three of those. Decided to put those through their paces. I think those can be some uh, sand bass crushers. We're going to find out. I'll do the fun stuff. All right. Sticking with the top water theme, I got the Six Sense Dogma 115. I got it in the chrome thread fin shed. That one right there. The 115, I want to say, is four, 
four and a half inches, three quarter ounce, maybe five inch, four and three quarter, five inch. Dogma 115 from Six Cents. Three quarter ounce, top water walking bait. I know where I'm going to be throwing that, and that's going to be below Gibson Dam. You guys know I love it down there. Where the hell is that? Oh, goodness. I had to pull some stuff off the wall because I wanted to show it to you guys. Just keeping it real. Just being honest with you. Next, because it is still cold out, I picked up a Mega Bass Vision 110 Plus 2. Oh, Mega Bass just makes some of the best paint schemes I've ever seen. I don't even know what the color of this one is. Tennessee Shad. 110 Plus 2 Tennessee Shad. 12 foot depth. So now I've got jerk baits that are going to cover from 3 to 6 to 9 to 12 feet. So I feel like right now, with it still being kind of like cold, even though we've had some warming trends, I've got enough jerk baits, even though I'm not comfortable with throwing them, that I can go out and focus on throwing them and I can cover the water columns that I need to cover with jerk baits now. The other one that I got to cover that 9 foot depth range, I actually got it at Academy, is the uh, Loco Special from 13. I wanted to give it a shot. Six to nine foot, that one right there. Color on that, even though I didn't get it from Tackle Warehouse, Natty Light. Next thing, this is a new one. This is new from River to Sea, and it's a glide bait. It's called the ICBM. Sorry. ICBM glide bait. It is a one and a half ounce, yeah, one and a half ounce, four and three quarter inch glide bait. You guys have probably seen it on Tackle Warehouse. Very different, very different shape of a glide bait. Look at the angle on that. But I got the orange crush. It's got that orange belly. But where I've been throwing stuff, there's been a lot of shad. So I wanted to get as close to a shad pattern as I possibly could, especially with some deeper water. I'm excited to get out and throw this. I have no idea the action on it. I watched reviews and I read up on it. It looks good. So I figured, why not? We'll give it a shot. So the River to Sea ICBM in Orange Crush glide bait. Like I said, very different kind of glide bait. Different uh, different design. Not one that you normally see on glide baits. And I don't know if I got it on video from this past weekend, but glide baits have some drawing power. My goodness. Some crazy drawing power. Didn't even see fish in the area. Chris tosses out a glide bait and a monster just shows up. Just looking at it. Never committed to it. Just looking at it. But I see BM from River to Sea. I have no idea where to put that. I'll figure it out later. I said I was going to give some stuff away. The BD Shads went back on sale. So, specifically for you guys, I've got the Black and Silver Shad and the Spastic Bream. So, Black and Silver Shad, you guys have seen it, I believe. I think I've shown it to you, but the Spastic Bream, I'm going to pull this out really quick. Maybe really quick. We'll see. Maybe I won't pull it out really quick. Maybe it'll take me a second. <sighs> Whoever gets this one, I'm sorry. I feel bad for you opening this up. But, the Boyd Ducket BD Shad Spastic Bream. This guy right here. This is going to be given away to somebody. Now you can see on there the hooks. Hooks are very different. Up on this front treble, it's shaped a little bit differently. It's got a magnet on there to help keep that front treble from snagging up too much. So, what I'm doing for the giveaway. And I just did the Monster Bass giveaway, and that, that's a whole other subject. I cannot wait to give that away because I'm actually doing something special for that Monster Bass giveaway later this week. I'm actually giving away two. I'm going to build another box. For monster bass and I'm gonna pick two winners so winner for this one you're gonna get the spastic bream and someone's gonna get the black and silver shad that's what I'm giving away we get this video up to 200 likes I'm gonna give away I'm gonna pick two winners and someone's gonna get this one someone's gonna get that one it's my way of giving back and saying thank you to you guys again I cannot thank you enough for the support so I want to give them away. These are going to be set aside. 
because those are going to go to two viewers. You guys know the criteria. Subscribe to the channel, like the video. We need 200 likes on this video, and drop a comment down below. That's all I need. That's it. So, let's get on to the next one. Funny story about this one, because they went back on sale. I got another BD shed, and I got this shed in this size because we have caught, not caught, but we have seen shad this size in one of these lakes that I've been going to. I got the eight inch BD shad in black and silver shad, eight inch swim bait. This thing is a freaking monster. I didn't know, I didn't like really realize the size of an eight inch swim bait until this thing showed up. Now, word of caution to you guys that I didn't actually check and I didn't see. This 8 inch shed, while it was 10 bucks, is actually floating. It does not sink. It is a floating swim bait. <laughs> so, I know this is going to come in clutch later in the year, or probably earlier in the year, but it is floating. I tossed it out this past weekend, <laughs> only to find out that it floats. So, but 8 inch BD shed, 10 bucks. I mean, you really can't beat that kind of price for something that is so close to a bull shed. Knockoff, but still very close to a bull shed. So, 8 inch BD shed <laughs> that floats. <laughs> Last but not least, the ones I'm most excited about just because they're freaking beautiful, they're pretty, they look sick, reviews on them have been on point. I am excited, very excited. I got the Dual Ninja Swimmer, the Lipped Swimmer. What is it? Okay, yeah, it's not the glider, it's the Swimmer. And I got the Gold AYU, the Gold IU, and because I've already pulled this one out of the box because when they came in, I had to pull one out and I had to look at it. They did crazy packaging on these. I'm talking like staples in the paper, zip tied to the box. I'm gonna try and pull this one out for you guys because I wanna show you this. These baits look in freaking credible. So the dual hardcore Ninja Swimmer, they make a glide version of it as well. I got the lipped version. This is the gold ayu big lip on there that joint you won't need to file that down or anything plenty of action to the joint right there tail is soft and they actually send you a replacement tail for each of these as well so i think what i want to do next is i actually want to get one of their glides but i want to give these ones a shot first off big lip it's going to go about four to five foot right there tons of action to these this color is I don't know if the camera's doing it justice, but this color is phenomenal. Absolutely incredible. So I got two of these guys as well. So, well, different colors. Gold, metallic AU, AYU, IU, whatever. You get it. Guys, that's it. I believe that is all. I think that's all that I got in this Tackle Warehouse unboxing, which is a lot of stuff, which is why I'm not ordering any more in January. That's it. I'm done. Done for January. I'm giving away these two guys right here. Five inch BD shads, slow sink, black and silver, spastic bream. Like the video, subscribe, drop a comment. 200 likes, I'm picking two winners. That's it. So if you guys have anything else that you want me to like pick up, check out, drop some comp, like drop some suggestions in the comments down below. I'll check them out. If it's something I'm comfortable with throwing, then I might pick it up, but I'm always looking for new bait, something else to try out, something else to review, which means I've got a lot more giveaways coming up. I got a lot of stuff that I don't use anymore that I'm going to be giving away and handing back because like I said, I appreciate you guys so much. I wouldn't be here without you. So I always want to give back to the community. I want to be one of those guys that actually does. I'm still trying to reply to every single comment from the last video. I'm gonna do it. And I will do it from this one too. But I would just, I gotta say thank you. Thank you to every single person that is on this channel, that comments, that likes the videos. I love it. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time we're on the water.